Hi, I had a couple of your classmates email me with questions about uh, one of the activities in Khan Academy around um, word problems and linear equations. So I thought we'd start off by taking a look at some word problems and turn them into linear equations <clears throat> and then look at one of the problems for Khan Academy and see if we can look at what they're looking for. Uh, because this was a screen capture I was sent from one of your classmates from um, the writing linear equations word problems set of problems. So we'll get there in a second. Let's start with this though. Let's first start off with writing out y equals mx plus b. We've talked about this in relationship to graphing, but what I really want us to think about here is the y is the outcome. And the x is the input. And the outcome depends on the input. So the Y depends on the X. And I'll try to talk that through as we're looking at a few of these problems here. So suppose that the water level of a river is 34 feet and it is receding at a rate of 0 0.5 foot per day. As soon as I see that per, I know that this is the number that's going to go with the x. Why? Because per means something being multiplied, and this up here is my term that's being multiplied. The 34 feet is most likely this. That's where it is when the situation has started, and then it's going down half a foot a day. So first it says write an equation for the water level, L after blank days. So instead of using X and Y, they're having us use L for the Y and D for the days because the water level depends on the time that's passed or the number of days. And Y, the output always depends on the X. Or in this case, the water level depends on how many days have passed. So I'm gonna write the equation as L is equal to 34 feet is where it starts, plus 0.5 or half a foot per day. And if I was gonna put that in Y equals MX plus B order, I would write it as L is equal to 0 0.5 D plus 34. So in the section that people have been sending me emails about, um, and I had two people asking me questions about this. It was not It was the section of um, Khan Academy where you're just identifying stuff from the problem uh, or the equation itself. So um, when I went through the problems, the first question was something about a bank loan. Well, if this was the bank loan or money borrowed from somebody, oops, and on both of these, I messed up here. These are both negative. I should have put a minus sign. I forgot it was decreasing. It's going down a half a foot a day. Um, in any case, in the problem, it's asking you to identify pieces of the equation, not to solve the equation. So in this, if I had borrowed money from somebody and I paid them back half a dollar per day, this would be the amount I borrowed. It's where I started from. And I'm paying them back I'm owing them less money per day. So those are the pieces of the equation. <clears throat> now the question is here on this problem, just to get into starting to solve some, in how many days will the water level be 26 feet? Well, what, what's the um, question asking? It's asking how many days? So we're going to end up with not knowing this. We're gonna solve for D because what we've been told is in how many days, the question, how many days will the water level be 26 feet? So I would rewrite this as 26 is equal to negative 0.5 days 
plus 34. And I would solve that for D. I don't have room here, and that's not the point of this video. But I'd subtract 34 from both sides. I'd end up with a negative number divided by a negative number, and that would give me my amount. Here, let me just do it real quick. 26 minus 34 is negative 8. This would end up being negative 8 is equal to negative 0.5D, because this would be X'd out. <clears throat> negative 8 divided by 0 0.5, negative 0.5D would give us 33 and a half days. So it would take us 33.5 days to get to 26 feet of water because it started at 34 and it's going down a half a foot a day. So I'm just gonna set up one more of these problems and then we'll look at the problem from Khan Academy. Um, I've kind of written all over number two, let's go down to number three. Uh, for babysitting, Nicole charges a flat fee of $3. That's gonna be my plus B because it's not connected to a variable. Per hour, this tells me that that's the part being multiplied. So that's my five X. And my X that I just wrote is standing for hours. Uh, write an equation for the cost, C, after H hours of babysitting. Again, what depends on what? The total cost, C, depends on the total hours, H. And since Y depends on C, I'm sorry, why it depends on X. In this case, the total cost of having a babysitter depends on the number of hours that you're paying that babysitter. So in our equation of Y equals MX plus B, in this case, the Y is gonna be replaced by a cost. The M is gonna be replaced by five, that's $5 per hour. The X is going to be replaced by H because of the hours plus $3, her flat fee of $3. So before she even babysits, if as soon as she gets to your house, you owe Nicole $3. <clears throat> For every hour she's there, she gets five more dollars. So how much money will she make if she babysits for five hours? Well, I'm going to go and I'm going to put a five in where the hours is on this equation. The cost is gonna equal $5 times five hours plus her $3 fee. My cost is equal to 25 plus three. It's gonna cost $28 to have Nicole babysit for five hours. Okay. So when you're looking at these questions on Khan Academy in this, this first set, I just did a couple of solving based on the questions we were looking at as examples. But in this case, this is a lake near the Arctic Circle is covered by a thick sheet of ice during the cold winter months. Remember, we're thinking about Y equals MX plus B. We're gonna look in this work for something that says per. Per is telling us multiplication. When spring arrives, the warm air gradually melts the ice, causing its thickness to decrease at a rate of two tenths of a meter per week. After seven weeks, the sheet is only 2.4 meters thick. So I already know by looking at this, it's going down by 0.2 meters per week. And in this case, my weeks are my X. It's my input. I'm inputting how many weeks it's happening. <clears throat> and then it's also telling us in this equation, after seven weeks, the sheet is only 2.4 meters thick. So I know, <clears throat> Oh, hold, let me finish reading the question before I say what I know. Let Y represent the ice sheet's thickness in meters after X weeks. So we're gonna complete the equation here. And I want you to think about when spring arrives, 
the warm air gradually melts the ice, causing its thickness to decrease at a rate of 0.2. So it's going down 0.2. Let Y represent the ice sheet's thickness in meters after X weeks. So if we have an XY table, and I think this goes back to what you saw con or saw con in our video show, our X is our input, or in this case, our weeks. Our Y is our sheet's thickness in meters after X weeks. It's our output, so it's the thickness or the meters. If our input is seven weeks, and we know that we go down 0.2 weeks, negative 0.2 times seven, what is your output going to be? So I hope that this helps you pull these problems apart. I'm not gonna give the answer to this. Um, it does tell us, Hold on one second. I just want to check something on my calculator before I confirm this. Oh, there's one part of this I forgot. Uh, after seven weeks, the sheet is only 2.4. So if our output here, oh, this is what I need. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to erase everything I said, but I'm going to take some more space to rewrite this table. <clears throat> and I'm sure this is why this problem was sent to me because it's missing some information and we have to go find the information. What we're missing here, and I forgot to mention it, is our plus B. We don't know what this started at before it started melting, but we can figure it out using the information that they've given us. They've given us that it's seven weeks, knowing that part of our equation is negative 0.2 weeks, plus something, it started at some amount of thickness and it's been going down, down, down. We know it's seven weeks, it ends up being only 2.4 meters thick. So what we're gonna end up solving for is the B. We don't know what the B is. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to solve for that. I'm gonna rewrite this as seven is my weeks. Oops, oops, oops. You had me last year, you know I like to think on my feet. I have not solved this ahead of time. So my Y in this case is gonna be 2.4 because that's my thickness that I'm at at seven weeks is equal to negative 0 0.2 times seven plus the letter B. I need to find what that B is to finish my equation. Negative 2.2 .2 times 7. 0.2 times 7, positive times negative. I get 2. Sorry. That was 2.4. I'm going to have 2.4 still on the left side is now equal to negative 1.4 plus B. And I'm going to add 1.4 to both sides to get that B by itself. 1.4 plus 2.4 gives me 3.8. So that means 3.8 meters thick is equal to my B. And now I can go back to my equation and say, here's my original equation. So see, I am solving the whole thing for you, is 3.8. And in my table, what I did is I showed the input and output. We used an input that we know of seven. We now know that at 0 0.2 weeks plus 3.8 should give us an output of 2.4 when we input a seven for the weeks. 
And that's how we would check it. Multiply point neg negative point 0.2 times 7, and I get negative 1.4 plus 3.8 is going to give me a positive 2.4. So that's what you would be able to add in here. So it's using those pieces of the equation. What do we know from the problem? Keeping in mind that we can find our MX term always by looking for that word per. It's almost always there. Our plus B is going to usually be where something started. In this case, that was the missing information that we went and found out. And let's not import, forget the really important part that this is always our input. This is always our output. And that Y, the output, depends on X. And if you can keep that in mind, it will really help you set up the problem compared with the, including that per. So I hope that helps those of you who are struggling with that. And let's keep working with our linear equations. We're getting stronger.